Welcome to the continuation of my video series on QGIS. In this video, we'll proceed with the process of creating a simple map with QGIS and specifically, I will be focusing on labeling map features. You recall that in the last video, we created the map of Nigeria showing different states in different colors and uh, also showing the road network. But in this particular exercise, we want to see how we label features on the map. So let's start right away. So we are back in our QGIS environment. You recall the, the this was where we stopped the last time uh, in the last video. So I want to deselect the roads now. So we have the states, but yes, these states are in different colors and uh, we already know how to make them to be in different colors. But for the purpose of this current exercise, I want to remove the several colors and make them to have just one color. So I will come to categorize here. Yeah? How did I get here? Uh, let me go back. By double clicking on that layer, Nigeria had me one there. I open the properties, the layer properties. Then I select symbology. Because symbology is what, where we change the colors. So we come to categorize. Categorize means each state will have different colors. But I want to change that to single symbol. And uh, I click on simple fill. I want to select the color that should be used i want something yes something light good i think this is okay i make it a little okay so i'll move this here and i will select that as okay so now i've changed the color to this don't forget this is solid that's fine now i will apply that and that turns my map into the same color so i will click ok so this is what my map looks like but then the states are not labeled so for somebody who is not familiar with these areas it's difficult to know okay what state is this what state is this what state is this what state is that so in order to avoid confusion we we'll add label to the map so the main thrust of this video is to show you how we can label features on the map. So we want to label all these states. We want them to have label. Now, how do we do that? You don't do that by coming here to click and start typing label on each. No, you don't do that. You allow the QGI software to do that for you automatically. But then, What's where are we going to get the names from? Now, every future you have on your layer panel here has what we call attribute table. And when you click, when you right click on it, right click on the layer, and you scroll through, you will see open attribute table there. That is where you will see the attribute of that feature like i open this it gives me this as the you know uh it gives me this as the attributes of that layer now let me close it for a sec now let's check the roads i'll make road active i've added the roads there now to my map now let's check the let's right click and check the attribute for roads you see, these are the attributes for the roads. So, looking at the attribute table, you can see the kind of data that are available for that particular feature or layer. So, that's just by the way. So, we we'll come back here. We want to label this map. But how do we know what to use to label? That's, we'll go to the attribute table and check 
So here is the attribute table. These are various columns, ID underscore zero, ISO name underscore zero, and so on. So we want to check which of these columns or fields contains the names of the states. We look at this one, no. This one, no. This one, no. This one contains ID. Now it is name underscore one. This is the only one that contains the names of the states. All these other ones don't. So what do we do now? It means if we want to label that map using state names, this is the variable, I mean, the field we should use, this column here, name one. If we select any other thing, it will not give us the name of the individual state. So if you select name zero, it will just label everything as Nigeria. If we select ISO, it will label everything as NGA. So we need to label with name underscore one. That's what will give us the names of the states. Good. So now that we have seen that, we'll come back here now and double click on that theme. Nigeria admin one in order to open the properties, the property window. So here is the, here we have the layer properties. You know, symbology is what we use to uh, change the colors. But to label, we will select labels. As you can see here, labels. So that's what we will select, labels. Even though we have selected labels, you don't see any label on the map. Why? Because the default setting is no labels. That's what we have up here. So we need to change this. How do we change that? You click that down arrow button to see options there. So we'll select single labels, single labels. Now, having selected single labels, we are to specify the value. What should be used to label the states we we'll again click on that down arrow button and this shows us all the fields available on the attribute table that we checked a while ago and you will recall that from that attribute table the only one that gives us states names is name underscore one that's the only column there the, or the only field that has the states name so we'll select it so what we have done is to say, okay, computer, na give us names, I mean, label this feature using name one. So that's what we have specified. Now, here, below here, we can change the font size, we can change, I mean, the font type, we can change uh, whether we want to make it bold or italics, you know, we can do that here. And we can, also change the size either we want it as 10 points you know that this 10 points we can change it or leave it as it is depending also the color of the text the default is black here if you want another color you can just click that arrow but that down arrow button beside it it will take you to the color palette then you can change it to any color you want here but i'm leaving it as black here so Having done all this, let's apply it and see what we have. You see now, our map has been well labeled. Let's say OK now to leave that place. So we can see our map has been well labeled. But then uh, we see the Federal Capital Territory, the label is longer than the size or the shape of the of the place so we may want to abbreviate this federal capital territory to fct so that the label can be within that that place but then that's just how to how to label uh, how do we change this to fct from uh, you can't change it from here you need to change it from the attribute table we'll look at that in another video but this is simply how to add labels to your feature. That's what this is. Now, uh, of course, 
we can add buffer to each of the labels here. Let me just show you that in a sec. I double click again on this to open the property. And then on that label, you see here buffer. This buffer here. If I click on buffer and I check this box that says draw text buffer, that means create a buffer around the names, around the labels that we have. So I'll check that box. What should be the size of the buffer? This one says zero. I mean, no. So I will change this to one. Okay. So I have said, make it one. What color? Okay, make it white color. I can change the color also to any color I want. If I come here, but I leave it as white. And I'm done. So let's apply this. You can see now that the labels are sitting on white background. So there's a buffer created in white color around each name. If I increase the size of buffer to 2 instead of 1 to 2.0 there, see what effect that will have. You see, it has increased the buffer around the label. So if I say OK here, so you see, that adding buffer to it makes the lettering or the labels to come out, you know, very clearly and more conspicuous to the eyes. So that is how, this is how to label your feature on, I mean, in QGIS. So this way now we have created this map with the labels there. So that's what this video is all about. Now, in the next video, we'll see how we can finalize this map uh, in order to, you know, be able to print it out if we want to print it. That'll be in the next video. Thanks for watching.